pigs, creepers, spiders, endermen, wither skeletons. We ate absolutely every monster in the Minecraft dimension today. And it made us really, really fat. But what happens when I go a little bit too far and it starts to affect me in ways I didn't see coming? Hey adventurers, I've heard if you go ahead and hit the like button right now, you will get a lifetime supply of pizzas. That's pretty awesome. Make sure you eat responsibly though, because it's time for the adventure to begin. You know, Guido, I've come to a realization that maybe our diet isn't particularly the best. We usually have pizza, and then on Tuesdays we have pizza. Wednesdays we have pizza. Yes, Dave, I know. I enjoy pizza, okay? Look, what I'm saying is that we really need to change up our lifestyle or else we will be getting fat. And we don't want that. I mean, here in the Minecraft dimension, I don't think there's really much opportunity for exercise. So, whoa. What's happened here? Oh my gosh, I think, I think a poor squid has just exploded. Well, we won't be able to eat these ink sacks. Yeah, I need a little bit of variety in my life, buddy. Something that I can eat to keep me going, but also keep me nice and fed. Now, unfortunately for us, I really don't have any skills when it comes to cooking or preparing food or even hunting food. So our options are pretty limited. Sorry, buddy. Part of me just wishes we could go ahead and eat a guest or something, or a creeper, you know, something nasty that deserves to be eaten. But instead, here we are, running around in a field, about to slap a cow with a good old-fashioned wet, cold fish. Yeah, yeah, take this. Trust me, buddy, this really isn't the life that I want. Well, I'm afraid there's not much we can do about that, Steve. Unless... One moment, Steve. I'll be right back. Well, I guess we've been left here with no friends, and more importantly, no food to eat. I don't know how to prepare this stuff. It's just simply too difficult. I lack the culinary skills. Hey, adventurers, if you'd like to see me eat my own arm, then go ahead and leave a like in three, two, one, now. Well, I guess I better do it. Here goes nothing. I... Oh. Hey, Guido. Is everything okay there, Steve? Uh, yeah, sure. Everything's fine. What's up, buddy? Oh, I just quickly returned to the lab, and I thought I'd bring this back. Whoa, buddy. What the heck is that thing? That is a mouth. That's right, an external mouth used for eating stuff that you wouldn't typically eat. All right, buddy. Whatever you say, let's go ahead and try this thing out. So this is weird. I'm holding my own mouth in my hand. That is very bizarre. Okay. Sorry about this, buddy. I'm not really sure what this is going to do. I... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just devoured that entire cow alive. Look at this. Oh my goodness me. And the chickens. I can eat them as well. Oh my gosh. So it looks like this mouth can scream as well. Watch this. Dude, that is terrifying. Okay, at this rate, I may not even have to eat my own arm. Okay, so we've got some more chickens right here. This is definitely curing my hunger, Guido. Let's go ahead and... Oh. Oh, I can just devour these things whole. Now let's try it on the pigs. Oh my goodness me. It doesn't matter how big or how small. I can literally just eat any of the creatures around us. These sheep are... <laughs> these sheep are just disappearing. There's no cooking, no preparation of the food involved. We simply just march up to whatever we can see and devour it. Just like these poor little pigs. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see exactly what we can see here. We may have to go ahead and find some kind kind of cave or ravine or something just to be able to find some more dangerous and as I've already said more exotic creatures we've got a nice little dark cavern here and oh I can see a spider okay I never thought that I'd be excited to uh, go ahead and eat a spider but let me go ahead and do my war cry here and let's charge in. Let's see what we can do. Okay, the spider is coming out here. Is he going to be friendly? You know, spiders normally change, I think, when it comes from daytime to nighttime. Okay, so this guy's definitely not very nice. Let's go ahead and eat him. Oh my gosh, ow! Ow, what the heck is happening? So we're getting poisoned at the same time. The more exotic stuff we eat, the more damage we take. Let's have a look at this. Oh my gosh, it is literal poison. Do we have anything waiting for us in this? Oh yes, there's a zombie right there. Okay, this may be a terrible idea eating a zombie hole but 
Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Oh, I just missed him there. We're going to have to get a little bit deeper and... <gasps> He's gone. Instantly, he's gone once more. We are being poisoned, but it's okay. It's what I need to go through here to be able to get all that nutritious value from that delicious, delicious zombie. Let's see what else we can find. I'm wondering what the different effects will be. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, I just screamed. Okay, let's wait for him to come around the corner. Oh, here comes the skeleton, and he's gone. Unfortunately, we are still taking a fair bit of poison damage, but we should be able to uh, survive this, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Come on. There. There we go. Okay, excellent. And because we've been eating so much, we can go ahead and start to regenerate our hearts here. Oh no. Is it working? Yes, it is. Okay, so we can regenerate our hearts. We must find and eat a creeper though. It's something we simply must do. All those years of tormenting us are about to finally come to an end. There we go. There's a creeper right there and he is so unsuspecting. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Take that. Oh, jeez. He's not about to uh, explode in my belly, is he? That'd be disastrous. Okay. Enderman, zombies, skeletons. Let's try and eat this Enderman. Here we go. Oh, we had to be super quick there. Oh, my gosh. I can eat so much. I'm eating so much right now. Everything in my path is getting devoured. Oh, Guido. My stomach. Oh, my goodness me, Guido. Look. We've actually made our way into the nether. Oh, as I've already said, there are bound to be a bunch of exotic and crazy things we can eat here, like these pigmen over here, the guests. Oh my gosh, this is going to be incredible. I'm not going to lie, though. I'm a little bit worried about my stomach making those strange noises. Okay, let's make our way over to these pigmen. I wonder... Oh, jeez, this is going to be dangerous. I wonder... Whoop! If these guys are going to taste any different to the original zombies or pigs or actually have a different effect, okay? Oh, I can just eat them all the way up just like that. That is amazing. Oh, 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 that is hilarious. Oh, there's also something else down here, buddy. Look, with the skeletons. Okay, let's go ahead and try eat these guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness me. There we go. Nice. Okay, so once more, they just seem to be poisoning me. But, dude, it is so worth it. All of these amazing tastes are absolutely incredible. I almost fell there. Jeez. I wonder if there are any more creatures here in the nether that we can go ahead and... Oh, my gosh. Oh, not again. Guido. Oh, my goodness, Guido. This is so bad. Look how fat I am. Oh, no. This is a disaster. My weight level is 40 out of 40. And if I even attempt to run, I mean, I can't even run. Dude, how did you let this happen? How did you allow me to get so fat? This isn't my fault, Steve. You're the one that ate everything in sight. Oh, yeah, buddy. I think those wither skeletons, I think, I think that's what made me like this. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is... Whew. I'm honestly pretty embarrassed that it got to this point, but hey, here I am. But it looks like all is not lost. It looks like if I do jumping jacks and actually attempt to lose these pounds, I should be able to lose some weight. Stop looking at me. You know what we need, Guido? We need... A miracle? No, not a miracle. We need a gym. All right, buddy. As you can see, I have cornered off this small section of the village to develop my very own personal gym. Is it a personal gym because you take up most of the room? Ooh, roasted. You got me, Guido. No, using all of this equipment, we should be able to achieve the body of our dreams. Ideally, my normal body. So, let's go ahead and start doing those jumping jacks. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Already, this is pretty intense, and it looks like they're not really counting. But already, I am starting to see that weight drop off. I actually think we're looking a little bit smaller already. Just gotta uh, uh, push it to the limit and keep going. Come on. Dude, this is like the most intense thing ever. But again, we probably shouldn't have eaten all of those creatures. Oh my goodness, buddy. The weight is just dropping off us. This is amazing. Let's have a quick go on the treadmill. <laughs> And, ah, oh, there we go. We are looking much better already. And now we are finally back to our true slim and slender self. Guido, I vow that I will never return to that lifestyle of eating junk food, mainly other living creatures. From now on, it's the fitness life for me. 
Now, shall we order some pizza? Well, that was most certainly a very interesting adventure. If you'd like to go ahead and go on more with us, make sure you hit one of the two videos on the screen right now and subscribe to the Checkpoint and Checkpoint Save the Multiverse channels. See you soon, everyone.